Hello guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Now today we've got a new card to FIFA 22 and it is the 88 rated Heroes Diego Melito. He looks pretty decent. Um, doesn't look mind blowing but he looks decent. So let's get on and have a look at his player bio. Now he's high low work rate which is perfect for a striker. Right footed, three star skill moves and a four star weak foot. Obviously the weak foot being really good there, skill moves not so good. Now, he looks similar just by looking at his base card to Fernando Morientes, but he costs a lot less than Morientes, which is surprising. Maybe it's the league, maybe it's the four-star skills that Morientes have, I don't know. But anyway, check out the Morientes review, which is also live on my YouTube channel. I'll post it up here somewhere. Um, but Melito looks okay. Looking at his card, he does have some uh, cons just by looking at him. Acceleration and sprint speed being one of them. Now, obviously, he's not the fastest striker in the world, but this year... It's not so bad. It really isn't so bad. Because um, target men, stronger strikers, good finishes are actually usable this year. I've seen a lot of people using different cards, different strikers like Lukaku, Harry Kane, people like that, who are pretty similar to this man. So maybe he just maybe he's going to be a hidden gem in the game. His shooting category is absolutely stacked. Apart from his long shots, which is quite low 80, quite surprising. But his finishing at 93 there, unreal, isn't it? And 89 shot power. He only has 82 curve, but it does not matter because this man has the key trait this year. Finesse shots, oh my god. That is definitely the best trait you can have for a striker, uh, for any card, to be honest, this year. Because finesse shots are OP yet again, and hopefully he's going to score some bangers. Now, his short passing is great at 81, long pass is okay at 70, um, everything else is pretty poo, but to be honest, you don't really need that much passing as a striker. Even though this year, passing, it does mean quite a lot this year, I've found. It, especially in the midfield, passing out some long passes, I think you do need an actually good long passer, so... Yeah, it is a slight con on the card. Obviously, you've got people like Di Natale, who I've also reviewed. He's got amazing passing, and he's a really creative striker. This man's not. He's going to be definitely a target man. Uh, dribbling category, again, two standouts there. Agility and balance being pretty low at 76 and 77. Everything else is pretty good with 80. 8 ball control, brilliant, 84 dribbling and 86 composure. This man can win headers as well, he's got 88 hand accuracy and 84 jumping. Stamina could be a bit better, it's 81 and his strength of 85 is pretty decent. As I said before, he has got the finesse shot trait, he also has power header and team player trait. And that is his hero profile for you. Obviously, this was for his time at Inter Milan, he was a beast at Inter. Can't wait to try out this card. So let's get on into the gameplay and see if Diego Melito is worth that 250k price tag. Or is he just hyped up because he is a new card? Here we go, into match number one and he's got some really sweaty players. Rashford, Marlon. Oh, it's going to be a tough game this. It's going to be a tough game. Fingers crossed we can get some balls into Melito and get some goals. Melito wins the ball high up the pitch. We do get a shot off. That was a very aggressive play from Melito to win the ball back there. Melito! Ho ho ho! That was totally wicked! Wow! Wow! Take a bow! Oh, your rant is tight for a honky. Yes, sir. That was unbelievable. Great positioning and what a volley for his first goal for the club. Absolutely pinpoint perfection there from Melito. What a rocket. Melito on the edge. Oh, he has a good effort. Good effort considering his uh, long shots are only 80. That wasn't far away, lad. Oh, he's got it. Take a bow, son. Wow, he shot me in this first half of FIFA. He really has. I didn't think he'd be this good, but honestly, he's been absolutely fantastic this first half. So we go into our time 2 1 up, and it's Melito who's performed absolutely outstanding in this first half. That volley was insane. So far, finishing ability is on point, lads. Absolutely on point. And he feels very aggressive in his play, uh, winning the ball high up the pitch, trying to get involved. He reminds me of a Tevez in that respect, because he was a little animal. He kept biting, 
biting at players' toes to win that ball back. And that's exactly what this Melito car is doing for me in this game. Uh, so let's carry on, see if we can get that hat trick. I always like getting a hat trick with a car. Let's see if we can get it in this first game with him. Oh, look at that. Again, that's what I'm talking about, lads. The aggressive play there. Unfortunately, Pedro can't get the goal, but that is exactly what I'm on about. The aggressive play to win the ball back. He's been really good at that. Can we score off a corner? No, we can't, but he does win the header. Melito. Come on. He finds space across goal. Keeper's there, though. Melito sneaks through. There's his hat trick. Great aggressive play. Great balance there, to be quite honest, to stay on his feet um, when he was tackled. Look at that. Great balance and a lovely left footed finish. A hat trick, lads, in his first game. He's, he's actually blown me away. Did not expect him to feel this good. But obviously, that can change in a couple of games' time. It might just be against his opponent, but so far, he's been pretty ridiculous. Apart from that. Oh, we find Melito. It's his fourth. Oh, this man. He finishes every time he bloody has a shot. He's unreal. Absolutely unreal. What a goal. So we finish this one. 4-2. And all four goals came from Diego. Take a bow. What a performance. And his goal scoring ability was fantastic. In this first game, he has shown he is a target man. Uh, but he's got a bit more to offer than that. And... The things that I liked about him in this first game was his attack positioning and his work rate. High low work rate, attack positioning made him in the right place at the right time every single time. And that just shows in his four goals that he scored. What a performance from him. Let's go into match number two and see if he can continue that those performances. Into match number two with Melito and he's got Erling. I cannot believe that man is only 30k on FIFA. That is ridiculous. He is a beast for those amount of coins. Fingers crossed Melito can get on the score sheet in this game. But I don't think he's going to top his performance after that first game. Four goals and four unbelievable goals as well. If he can, I'll be amazed. This man, he doesn't stop scoring, lads. Two minutes into this game and he's already bagged us a goal. Absolutely fantastic. And it was on his weak foot as well. Now, obviously, he does have the four-star weak foot, so that was coming into play there. And by God, he's been an ultimate finisher, this guy. Melito, again, that could have been better. If he does have higher um, finishing stats, long shot stats, sorry. His finishing is brilliant. Are we going to our time? 1 0 up, and it was a Diego brilliant bit of magic from him. Two minutes in in this half, and he's already scored a goal. And apart from that, this half has been pretty damn tough after that first two minutes. Um, but yeah, we are still in front, and Melito has been fantastic yet again. A uh, couple of things with him. Obviously, he isn't the most fastest player in the world, he's not electric to get off in behind defenders and I'm not in this game because he does have Klosterman at centre back and he does get caught up from time to time um, but apart from that he's been phenomenal I've really enjoyed the card, really shocked on how good he's been so far for us Melito does him, oh what a rocket he just doesn't stop scoring lads, he really does not stop scoring what a goal, yet again. He's a goal-scoring machine, this man. So far, he's miles better than Lorienta. I was trying to say Morientes, but it turned out to be a mixture of Morientes and Lorienta. Um, but honestly, he's been well better than Morientes. Oh, no way. That was so close. But what a run from Melito. And nearly, nearly is that trick. 
Ooh, decent attempt. Decent attempt. The angle's a bit tight, though. And I do expect the keepers to be saving them. So we win this one 2-0, two goals from Diego, and yet again, he has been a fantastic finisher of the ball. He's just a brilliant, brilliant goal scorer, really, really made up on how he's performed, to be honest. He's, blew, he's absolutely blown my socks off. Did not think he was going to be this good at all, but he's been fantastic. Obviously, we'll play one more of him, as we always do. And hopefully he can continue his performances because he's just been fantastic. His finishing ability is unreal. It really is unreal. So match number three. And oh, he's got cheeky in form and a cheeky one to watch Marlon. Um, it's going to be a tough game again. But I've got 100% belief that Melito is going to score because he's been fantastic. Six goals in two games so far. So fingers crossed he's going to be good in this one. Melito, oh, left-footed finesse, but the keeper does get a glove on it. Melito, on the half-time mark, Diego, he's not, he's not let me down. He has, he turned up, he scored again, and he's shown his edit ability. That's his first edit goal he scored for me, to be honest. So he's proven that he is lethal off corners. We go into half-time, one nil up, and again, he's been. Really, really good. Making runs, not scoring apart from that header, uh, but really challenging the keeper. And I mean, he does have St. Just at centre back, for God's sake, with 91 pace. So he's not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Melito! Oh, I thought he would have scored that. I really did. Uh, to be honest, he can't score everything, can he? Somehow he's found it. Ooh, and a decent attempt again. It's because he does have the finesse shot trait that these outside the box shots are going really well. Um, none of them going in though, and that's probably because his long shots are only 80. But they are on target at least. I mean, we get lucky. <laughs> we do get lucky. Diego involved in that attack. Nice one too with Mane. He does get the shots off, does get saved, but we do get the goal. Oh, what a ball. Manny. Oh, we nearly get the chip off. Keeper just gets his fingertips to that one. Oh, great run. I love his high and low work rates and his tap positioning. He just seems to make lovely runs, get in behind, and he's always in the right place at the right time as well. So we do end up winning 2-0 in this one. Melito again. Brilliant performance from him. I'm absolutely blown away by the guy. I really am. But we'll go get on into my player summary right now because I've got a lot to talk about, to be honest. So here we are at the player summary of Diego Melito, hero card. Now, this man blew me away. I cannot believe how good he was, seriously. I don't usually play with like a target man sort of striker. I'm usually more of a small, more like Dean Natale. But this man blew my socks off, he honestly did, his finishing ability was ridiculous, his high low work rates were one of the best things about him, with his attack position, he made runs in behind, he was always there in the right place at the right time, as you've seen him score on countless occasions, he was fantastic, he genuinely was, so far he's been better than uh, Morientes by a country mile, I don't know why it was, but he, he really did just play a lot better than Morientes did. Um, obviously, he does have the finesse shot tree and high curve, which Morientes didn't have, so maybe that's a big player. Um, but honestly, this guy was insane, absolutely insane. Uh, there's a couple of things, obviously, to talk about. His acceleration and sprint speed, he did get caught up from time to time, I was not going to lie. In the last game especially, because he did have St. Just at centre-back, um, he was getting caught up. He was making the runs in behind, really nice runs, but then, obviously, the defenders were catching him eventually. Um, his long shots as well, minor, minor con. He did get them on target because of the finesse shot trait when I did take finesses outside the box, but they didn't go in the back of the net, and that was because of his long shots of being only 80. 
Um, his agility and balance are pretty poo, but he does feel better on the ball than Morientes. But the only thing with Morientes is he does have the four star skills, which this man didn't have. But honestly, I don't think he needed it because he was phenomenal. I love this man. He was even though his aggression was 66, he played really aggressively, winning the ball back high up the pitch, and um, even getting involved in the play. Nice one two stuff like that. He can do it. And honestly, he surprised me so, so much. Seven goals in three games is ridiculous. And I'm in Division 4. I don't think that's amazing, but I don't think it's bad either. So the quality of play is pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's been a really, really good card. I'm so shocked at how good he is. And for 250k, he's an absolute steal, lad. He really is a steal. Obviously, looking at his card, he looks similar to like um, a Lukaku type player. And, you know, Lukaku's a lot cheaper and so is like Haaland, etc. But he's a new card to FIFA, he's a hero's card, he can link in into your team, and he's mind-blowing, he really was mind-blowing. I've got hats off to him, and I'm going to do it, lads. I really am going to do it. It's the first 10 out of 10 rating I'm giving this year. 10 out of 10. I didn't think at the start of this I'd be giving him more than a 7. 10 out of 10. 250k. And he's been one of the best strikers I've used. I'm not even lying. He's been one of the best strikers, really. I'm so, so shocked. And I've used Ronaldo, Torres, etc. But just something about him. Something about him was ridiculous. And he was brilliant. And for the price, you cannot grumble at all. Um, I'm made up with him. He's been mind-blowing. So go and get him, lads. Go and get him, because he was fantastic. He really was fantastic. So if you have enjoyed this, today's player review, you know what to do, smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews like this one. And if you're not already, go and check out some of my other reviews I've done. Um, go and check out Morientes if you want to compare him to him. But honestly, I felt like this man was miles better. He really was. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.